We've got 14 schools, a uh, wide arrangement of configurations of schools, uh, elementary, traditional elementary. We have K-8 in the city of Washington. We have a K-1 school, a 2-3 school, a 4-5 school, a middle school, and a high school. Uh, and then we have some K-5s and different things, or K-4, and then 5 through 8 in another middle school. We have 7,300 students approximately. That will be all of our pre-K through the 12th grade. Yeah. We have three traditional high schools. We have an alternative school, and we have an early college high school. There are a lot of folks who want to come back to Beaufort County too, and, and if you've been here very long, you realize very quickly what it is about the draw of this community that brings folks back. In the education world, uh, our board, when I came on, as I said, in 2010 in January, shortly before that, they had created a Grow Our Own Scholarship Program, po uh, modeled after the Teaching Fellows Program, mm -hmm. and they, they selected a certain number of students each year and offered money in terms of scholarships for them to return back to the Beaufort County schools and, and teach, and we felt like that would allow us to grow our teaching population by focusing on, on students that were, that were from Beaufort County schools and would come back to, to Beaufort County. Uh, but, but we're trying to, to have our folks in the community. We're very involved with the Economic Development uh, com Commission and with the Committee of 100 and business leaders. And, and we're, we're trying to make sure that our business leaders, our manufacturers, our retailers, whoever they happen to be, are able to go out and speak with students early on so that we don't wait until a student is a junior or a senior to think about what they want to do. And if, they, if, if we've got a child who wants to be a professional in a particular area and they have to go somewhere else to do that, then we certainly don't want to hold them back. We want to make sure that we've prepared them to do whatever they want to do in life. But we want to make sure folks are also looking at Beaufort County County, not as a place that you grew up, but a place that you retire, a place that you come back and raise a family, a place that you come back to and you invest in in terms of being a taxpayer, uh, being a volunteer in the community, and being a worker, hopefully, in, within the county with the di different business opportunities that are available.